welcome back guys finally after one month I published the new video finally Andrea finished working in Sunday at shipyard and come to power plant to help me to install my new Lofrans X2 1000 watt on the bow of Helos it was a very hard summer and I was in Olida last uh, month but now I have two months, November and October, that I need to do a lot. First of all, finish my bow stuff, cleats and windlass and gas bottle. And after that, I need to move on the bottom of the board because November will be more cold than October. I need to make the primer or the coat barrier. And after that, I need to make the copper coat. So, will be a lot to filming, a lot to show you. But at the moment, enjoy the installation of my new windlass. Finally, the windlass is installed and will be there for a long, long time. I made a very nice uh, custom-made bolts for the windlass because I don't want that there is bolts with all thread, but I need that my bolts have a very huge part of stainless steel that pass through the board. You can see here. And now, after he fix the bolts on the windlass, we start to use the sealant to protect the whole of the engine and after that to protect the place where the chain passed through. This is the cable that I, I, don't, I will don't use, is the cable for the chain counter. I will prefer to mark the chain than to have electronic stuff that uh, control the length of the chain that go out from the board. But I leave in position because you never know what's up in the future. But for the moment is completely sealed and I leave there like it is. Between the thick base and the Lofran windlass, there is the gasket that normally Lofrans uh, give when you buy the stuff. You can see the gray one. Try to push down the windlass and now job done. So now Andrea entering the chai locker because we need to fix the Lofrans from downside. Uh, this is the electric motor I give to Andrea because in this anchor position he will uh, fix the electric motor. You can see the huge cable that I use is marine grade tinted copper very very strong we need to find a correct position to insert insert the shaft of the windlass on the engine and now we start to fix it so guys the windlass is completely installed forever and now we start to drill for the cleats. Another very painful task that me and Andrea will do now. Oof. Quite nervous. Now I will show you the electric motor installed. You can see the cable, I need to pass through the bulkhead, but this is the plastic protection. Yes, guys, installing the bow cleat is pain in the ass sorry but really believe me me and Andrea before uh, um, Stefano uh, glue the capping rail on the board we leave one hole the inclinated one for reference all the other was completely filled up with the resin so you can see the drill in the original hole that was used for the previous cleat the previous cleat has a very wide base and the new cleat has a very small base. So now the problem starts. Andrea is drilling the first four hole for the new cleats and in a moment you will see what's happening. <clears throat> of course we can say the Alberassi make a very strong uh, stuff were used to uh, install the cleats, very thick one, so I need to make a very custom-made drill, very long, to permit me to drill all the thick 
quantity of material that uh, is made the board. You can see the bolts on the back. Andrea take the same inclination, but you can see the bolt is bent. It's bent as was original to permit the clip to stay like that, you can see, in perfect position. It's a good, it stay for 30 years, it was nice. For the inside hole, Andrea used a very straight drill. And the problem, you will see in a moment. Ta-da! You can see on the top of right, the bolts are very close. Impossible to use the nuts. Andrea start to drill in the other side, try to make better, but the result was a disaster. Four hole on the capping rail uh, on the most thick part of the board. We take <laughs> three minutes, four minutes to make any single hole. Same inclination of uh, the other one, the original holes, and we go. Perfect drill. Quite difficult to insert the, the bolts because uh, we need to make more bigger the hole of the bolts. Guys, now I need to prepare the base for the bow cleats and close one mistake hole inside, nothing special, but now I go on the bow, we, go. we are already prepared the cover because I need to use some epoxy here to avoid the corrosion and the ruin of the tick at the same time permit a very nice base for the beauty. So we start to spread the, the epoxy and after that I go inside I close the hole. If you can see here I have two holes, one and two. This is the first mistake and after that I show you why there is this mistake. So for this reason, I start to use epoxy, add with mineral fiber to give, give strength and close the bottom of the hole. Clean with the air and check. You can see just there, there is the straight hole and the other one. I need to fill up with resin. And the same here, you can see the correct hole and the Mistake one, just there. This is the new cleats, as a sprite, where the base is quite narrow. I make the straight hole and the inclinated one. You can see the bolts are very close, impossible to use the nuts and fix them in position. And those are the old cleats. The old cleats has a very wide base. Sorry for not precise uh, uh, draw but you I want to, that you understand what's happened. The base are wider and the bolts are quite distance so when you use the inclinated one you have a space below to use the washer and the nuts. This is more distance between the end of the bolts. So what I did, those are the holes, the inclinated one, you can see they are completely in the same end correspondence. So we make a new hole, me and Andrea, 
inclined to maintain the distance between the two bolts of the cleats have the possibility to install the washer and the nuts and fill up with resin this hole. So I need to bend all the cleats like that so when arrived inside have some space to use the bolt originally was like that so they touch when inside the hole so impossible was impossible like that to use the bolt so for this reason i need to bend also this screw so this is the original setup you can see here i already ruined uh, the threads but so if you change the cleats on the Alberassi, the new one, you need to bend in the old bolt the bolts like that. So you can have more space in the end of the bolts. This is a very challenging stuff. So I start to use epoxy add with mineral fiber. This is the correct hole. This is the wrong hole. But look at this hole. If I put this one inside, you can see look tada there is the co coincidence of the holes you can see here so i need to fill up this hole and drill again at the end to preserve a good one so i i will use some hot glue to cover the bottom of the hole and fill up with epoxy so i have at the end I will have a perfect hole, I will drill the last half centimeter, I cover this hole, I fill up with this hole, and I leave the correct one. It's quite fucking horrible stuff. For first things I use the syringe to insert the epoxy on the hole and make the epoxy drip perfectly inside the wrong hole. And now with this epoxy putty that I created with the very dense mineral fiber, I am recreating exactly the wall of the hole. To get a very nice round wall of the holes, I use a drink straw that make a very excellent work. They take out the excess of the epoxy inside a straw and make the wall of the hole perfectly. Okay guys, perfect hole. I completely cover all the mistake hole and you can see no more mistake. The hole are perfect. The only things I need now is to install the cleats. Okay guys, raining today. So guys, welcome back to Power Plan. Today is Sunday morning, raining a lot. And now I start to prepare everything to install the cleats. This is the result of the epoxy. You can see there is one hole for each hole. I completely cover the mistake hole. Now I drill again to make wider the hole and we start to prepare the cleats. Okay, third things, countersink the hole to permit the beauty to make a very nice gasket and after that use the long drill MA to make a very nice and tidy holes for the bolts of the cleats. So here you can see how much tricky it is to insert the bolts and the cleats. You, you need patience when thinking how to do. Oh, I spend half an hour only to, to test if the holes are okay.
And now I send on the capping ray after that I clean with acetones and we start to prepare the clits with the butyl and after that fix for another 30 years or so. Okay, now it's time to prepare the clits with the butyl and also the bolts. I put all the bolts in the correct position because I can swap them. If I swap, I will have a good, probably, to have a difficult to insert the bolts on the holes. So this is the setup. So I start with the butyl, you can see, all around. And after that, I will wrap with uh, the butyl also the bolts uh, and, and I will make a cone just uh, over the base of the clit. We need to clean the base with acetones and after that we start to install a fucking difficult plates. Mm. <laughs> Only in this hardcore position I am able to insert the washers and the nuts and the baking plate, whoa, I need to be a little more thin than fat, more easy, but I'm still able to go inside a chain locker. And here we go, I don't need other people to help me because I can do for myself, maintain it, fix the bolts and uh, tighten the nuts from inside the chain locker. Okay, uh, first clits fixed, so happy. And now we move in the other side. This is more difficult, but we start. Also here, I need to drill the new holes, use some paper and start with the butyl. For me, the butyl is fantastic. It is never fail in my boat and I can imagine to install stuff with through bolt without butyl. No way, I've never used the uh, uh, Cicaflex or other stuff like that. And now it's time to install the clits. Other difficult uh, operation, you need the correct angle, correct inclination, correct movement if not, all start to be stuck and you need to start again to spread the beauty. Oh my God, always difficult. With the help of uh, the rubber hammer, I push down all the bolts. After that, I start to tighten and uh, you will see all the beauty spread all around. And this meaning that for sure the job is well done. Now it's time to insert the back in place, the washer and the nuts. Completely tighten also the second um, clits and now it's time to cut the excess of butyl.
Okay, friends, for today's finish, I completely installed the bow clip. With the new one, it's quite difficult. It's a very, very difficult job. But at the end, I finish, and now I'm sure that my cleats are very strong, and also I can lift the board from the, the cleats. i show you inside what I did. Have a look. You can see there is a plate, stainless steel, Still wait the butyl uh, squeeze off to take the excess, but now they are very strong. And we can say the clit are perfect. For today, the episode is finished. If you like my video, please thumb up and leave your comment below. I am start again with the work and there are a lot of episodes that are coming, but for the moment is all and have a, you a very nice weekend. We'll see you in the next episode. Ciao!